Yo, 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 what is going on guys, Xander OG here, welcome back to another Black Ops 4 video. Today's video is going to be a little bit special, as you guys can tell from the title and the little presentation that I have on the screen right here for you guys. I have gotten Diamond Assault Rifles, I also have Diamond SMGs, Diamond LMGs, Diamond Tactical Rifles, and Diamond Snipers, so you guys can expect videos like this for all of them, except for the snipers, man. I really don't. I really don't want to use the snipers again. The snipers are terrible. Maybe once they fix the hitboxes and the aim punch and stuff, then we'll talk about the snipers. But until then, we're going to stay away from the snipers a little bit. Moving on, what you guys are seeing in the background now is a gameplay that I got with the Vapor XKG, I think, with the sleek diamond camo on jungle. I was going off, man. I, th I think I went on about two or three 15 gun streaks. I got my attack chopper probably five times in this game. We were just sweating on core domination which i don't really play normally so i was really happy that i got this gameplay in core so that i could show you guys it because i know a lot of people are kind of iffy about hardcore gameplay anyway i have a couple things written down here about what i like about the game so far and how to get headshots for assault rifles really so i have all the maps ranked right here in this notepad on my other monitor so the good maps it goes good eh, and bad the good maps include Firing range, gridlock, jungle, militia, slums, and summit. Those are the best maps in the game, in my opinion. That I've I have about two and a half days played. So roughly, I've played on all these maps a lot, except for the bad ones, because I really back out when I see these maps. The eh maps, which are like eh, whatever, I'll play it. It's not that terrible. Like it's not amazing, but it's not bad in any way. So those maps include Arsenal, Frequency, Hacienda, Icebreaker, which is good for long shots. If it wasn't good for long shots, it would be in the bad category for sure. And Payload. Payload's alright. I'd say Payload is in between good and eh, because that's one of the better eh maps. Now the bad maps, those include Contraband, terrible map. Morocco, terrible map. And Seaside. Seaside should be in between eh and bad, because long shots are pretty good on Seaside if you camp up top in the windows. I think you can get long shots with snipers even on that map in those windows, so that would be the only thing that would make Seaside any better than it is right now. So next, I want to talk about the attachments, the key attachments to use when you're using assault rifles. You need to run stock. If you're going to try and get headshots with the assault rifles, you need to run stock. So that just what you're doing, just like what I'm doing right here in the gameplay, I'm just aiming around corners with my ELO sight, and I'm just strafing, keeping my red dot sight right at head level, and I'm just strafing back and forth. Another attachment you need is quick draw so that you can get your gun up faster when you're getting into gunfights. Reflex and ELO are key on assault rifles. Not really SMGs, because SMGs are going to be up close anyway, but assault rifles, this kind of ties into the next two attachments too, but reflex and ELO... You need to use those because you're going to be picking people off from basically across the map. When they're So if you have a bunch of campers or something in your lobby, you can just start aiming at their head and just like popping them off across the map. Grip is another thing that you need to have if you're going for headshots. I won't necessarily say that you need it if you're not going for headshots because some of these guns don't really have that much recoil. But if you're going for headshots, you got to run grip because if you have too high of recoil then you're going to be missing heads, and you can't be missing heads if you got to get all these guns gold. The last attachment that I have here on my list is long barrel. Not all the guns have long barrel, I understand that, but if the guns have long barrel as an option, you guys should probably run it, because like I said, you guys are going to be picking people off across the map. Specialists that I recommend, there's three and two and a half of them. I would say three, but two and a half of them. Number one, Profit. If you're going to go for headshots, run Profit. You can use his Seeker Drone to zap people and get them to stand still and then you can just walk up next to them basically and just put your barrel on their head and just shoot easy headshots easiest headshots that i've seen in the game you only get your seeker drone a couple times a game though so you could run equipment charge and that would charge up super fast so you could get a ton of headshots out of it but i didn't do that i was just running stim shot i think the second specialist that i would recommend is recon because if you're playing hardcore like you should be for getting headshots because they're all one shot headshots Recon has his sensor dart that will pull up a mini map for you Like no matter what even if you don't have a UAV if you shoot your sensor dart as recon then a mini map will pull up for you And also for recon the vision pulse is nasty on hardcore when you're going for headshots If you can see people coming around corners You can just have your elo sight or your red dot sight Just aimed right at head level and you know exactly when they're gonna come around the corner because you can see them through walls So you can just pop them right in the head as soon as they come around the corner now the third and final specialist that I would ever recommend and I hardly ever play this character, 
is Ajax because I think Ajax if I'm wrong I'm gonna fix it on the screen I'll put like a like a correction but I think Ajax has the nine bang and if you can just nine bang people and just walk up and just get headshots just like with Prophet Zap I don't really use Ajax all that much I mostly run Prophet when I'm trying to go for headshots I'm on the pistols right now as of me recording this video on Sunday Monday morning Sunday night. I'm recording this video. So I'm on pistols I think I have the strife and the rk7 garrison done I'm working on the mosey right now, and then I have to finish up the Helion Selvo, which is the rocket launcher. I got to finish that up. I'm about I'm about Halfway done with shooting stuff down. I think so that'll just come over time as I'm using the mozu and Then we're on to the dreaded combat knife. I do that last every single year. I've done it last in BO3 I've done it last in World War II gonna do it last in this game i hope it doesn't make my kd drop anymore because it's already really low but yeah i'm gonna put on some music over the rest of this gameplay i think we got a couple minutes left here for you guys to watch but yeah if you guys like these kind of videos feel free to leave a like subscribe to catch all the other bo4 videos that i'm gonna be putting on my channel and as always people this was andrew og later